Hi everyone, it's Mike here from Comp3 Interactive. Today marks the start of a first for this channel, which is going to be a full Let's Make series. And in case you can't already guess by the video playing in the background, the game that we're going to be recreating is Space Invaders. But for copyright purposes, we're going to be calling this Invaders from Outer Space. And what I'm hoping to do with this is give you a bit of comprehensive information and just allow you to see the full process of creating a game. So this is going to take us through everything from the initial project setup, going through things like player input, enemy movement patterns, scoring health and life systems, saving and loading our data, maybe even throwing a shop interface there so we can put in some upgrades for our ship. I'm going to go all the way down to building and publishing for Android on the Google Play Store. And something else that's a little bit different, I'm going to provide you guys with the entire series at once. So it's ready to watch and you can follow along with it as and when you want. Because personally, I can't stand it when I'm following a tutorial series and then I have to wait an entire week for the next video to be launched so I can actually continue. To me that just seems a bit counterproductive, so like I said, every video is going live. Each one I'm going to try and cover an individual aspect of the game's creation. So you guys can use this series how you see fit. You can jump forward if you already know certain aspects of it, say collisions, uh, or you can watch the full series from start to finish and you'll have the same game right at the very end. Now, I am going to provide in the links to every one of these videos in the description. Uh, I'm going to provide the links to the assets that I've created for this game. So they're going to be held on itch for free. So feel free to use those in this game or any of your other games. I don't mind. I'm not asking for any money on this. I just want to help you guys out. So in this video, which is going to be uh, video zero, I think... Uh, it's mainly an introduction and we're going to set up the project. So, without further ado, we'll get on with this. So we'll load up Unity. And what we're going to do, we're going to create our new project. This is going to be a 2D project. And we're going to call it Invaders from Outer Space. Let's just make sure I've got this in the right section. There we go. And we can create the project. Okay, so we have our brand new Unity project. The first thing we're going to do is we're going to go into our build settings and we're going to select Android and switch the platform. Obviously, everything that's done within this tutorial should work for any platform. I personally just want this to go on the Google Play Store, so you select the platform that's right for you. Now that that's set up, we can jump into our player settings, and there's a few things that we just need to set up here. So, just to save us doing this later on, we can add our company name, that's Comp3 Interactive. Our product name is our game's name. Our version is currently 0.1. We'll set the icons later on. And the last thing we're going to do, we're going to come all the way down to a configuration section in our player settings. And we're going to change our back end to IL2CPP. And we're also going to select um, 64. And what that's going to do is that's going to make sure that we build our game as a 64 bit compilation and Google Play will actually accept our game. Okay, so we've done a little bit of our initial setup. So what we'll go ahead and do, we'll just create a very basic folder structure here, because as anyone who's watched any of my videos before knows, I love organization. <laughs> And that should do for a, a basic setup. We're going to add more to this as we go along. But the ones that I know for certain that I'm going to need are animations, fonts, materials, a folder for prefabs, scripts, sprites, and any UI elements. And one more thing that we can do, we can go ahead and rename a scene from sample scene to game scene. And we'll need to reload that scene. 
Now, for this game, with it being sort of a casual game, uh, I'm going to be running on one scene. So what that means is I'm going to have the game, the menus, and the main menu all in the same scene, and they're just going to be hidden and brought forward as and when we need them. For small games, I prefer to do this. You may not. You may want a separate scene for your menus. That's completely down to you. I just like to keep complexity very low on very simple games such as this. So we've had the introduction. We've done our basic project setup. Make sure you watch the second video where we're going to start adding in all of our sprites and we're going to start setting up some game elements so we can get this ball rolling. So I'll see you again soon.